with respect to conditions of release. I am concerned in this case because he was already living with his mom and grandparents. So at this point, I don't believe that the, that there is conditions of release the court can impose. Those words from District Court Judge Lucy Solomon after yet another Albuquerque teenager was taken by gun violence. J.D. Gonzalez, a student at Albuquerque Academy, was attending a party just days before Christmas when she was hit by a bullet. That bullet believed to have been shot from a gun at a nearby park. Two teens are facing charges in her death, and prosecutors believe they are too dangerous to be released into our community. But their defense says otherwise. Brianna Wilson has been monitoring this detention hearing today. Brianna, what have we learned? Well, a district court judge did agree that 19-year-old Jesse Parra is too dangerous to be let out of jail. Now, as for 16-year-old Cruz Medina, we'll have to wait at least one more day for that decision. Now, both teens face a first-degree murder charge. Investigators believe Parra and Medina brought guns to a Northwest Albuquerque house party the weekend before Christmas. A shooting broke out shortly after midnight, catching 18-year-old Jada Gonzalez in the crossfire. She did not survive. Now, police tied the suspects to her death through multiple posts on social media, cell phone data, text messages referencing the young woman's murder, among other things. The suspect and victim's parents were on the virtual courtroom call today as a state prosecutor explained why she believes no conditions of release for Para would keep the community safe. This insinuation that he can murder someone and shoot at other people and then all of a sudden be expected to follow court orders is just unreal. He will, in fact, tamper with evidence in an attempt to avoid prosecution, which should lean in favor of a detention as the state fears that if he's willing to go to those lengths to get a new phone and to get rid of weapons, then there's a possibility that, you know, his actions will lead to witness tampering. Now, before the judge made her decision, both Para's mother and his attorney asked that he be released under strict conditions, arguing that the 19-year-old is not a danger to the public. Mr. Parra is innocent of any murder charge as he's not a shooter at this uh, 5205 La Bajada. And even more so, the evidence is that the, the, um, the people that are shooting at the house, um, they're responding in self-defense to an occupant of the house which shot at the group first. Now, ultimately, the judge disagreed and Parra won't be going home anytime soon. 16-year-old Medina was supposed to have his hearing today, too, but it was rescheduled. So he will also stay behind bars in the meantime. And Brianna, I mean, this is just one of multiple instances, you know, in the span of a month where we've lost teens to gun violence. We just had, you know, a, a horrible case over uh, the weekend. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Tessa. So just this week, we reported on two teen boys' brothers, only 14 and 15, who were shot and killed at a mobile home park off of Trisco Vista. Now, the older brother was declared dead at the scene late Friday night. The younger brother died from his wounds at UNM Hospital this week, turning this into a double homicide investigation for the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. Now, at last check, deputies had yet to identify any suspects in that shooting, but say they took off from the scene in a dark four-door car. We'll continue to monitor both of these cases as they develop. Tessa, Ryan.